Good evening, guys. Well, there's a new version of Untangle for the E6 device, but not for the NGFW. I'm hoping soon, wink, wink, that a new version will be coming out for NGFW, which will be all the new Arista branding and stuff like that. But today, as in my post, I said I would do some comparisons of 4.1 to 4.2. So I've gone ahead and downloaded the firmware for my E6 over here that I really like, and we're going to upgrade that together. But first, I'm going to show you what, I'm going to poke around a couple of the menus here on 4.1 on this box, then we'll upgrade it and see if there's any differences. Um, as Brian stated in the post, and of course I had to comment because I do, uh, he said it's based on OpenWRT 21.2. 21.02, sorry. I wonder what it's going to look like. So, let's jump into it. Here it is right here. Uh, I've got the dark mode theme turned on. I just turned it on maybe 20 minutes ago because it's been under my desk. I've been doing some other firewall stuff. So, as we can see, this is what the 4.1 looks like. We have a Atom C3558 at 2.2 gigahertz. A bunch of interfaces. Um, we got settings. So we got dual WAN, multiple LANs. I didn't keep the wireless version. I wish I did because I was thinking uh, one of the downfalls of 4.0 and 4.1 on the uh, E6Ws and E6 versions is you can only have one SSID. And I mean, that sucks because when you set up a network, you want two SSD SSIDs, I mean, one for guest and one for private. And that's a downfall. So I'm hoping somebody will do a video or somebody will let me know that uh, the E6W can do multiple subnets, or not subnets, but SSIDs. So as we can see here, we don't really see much difference. It's all the same in 4.0 4.1. Maybe the major difference is the blue at the top for the Rista and a couple other small features. Web filter is one of them, plus other things, threat prevention. But let's go ahead and update the firmware on it, and then let's see what happens. So we would want to go to system, I think. No, upgrade. We'll take our file that we have that I've downloaded. And that's funny, there's no upgrade feature here. Like you can't, it's not really a file. That's kind of weird opens up a menu. So let's go to my big drive, let's grab the file, and let's click upgrade. And cross your fingers that nothing gets brick. It's booting because the lights refreshing, or the lights uh, blinking. You see the blue light? You guys probably can't see that. It's too small for you. But anyways, it's there. Maybe if I go full screen. You can see it now? No, blue light went off just as I was trying to do that. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, it's back online. That was really quick. So let's stop this. I'm gonna click here because it didn't refresh for us. So we'll do this by ourselves. Let's see. Man. Uh, 4.2 doesn't look different so far. You see, we got 4.2, unlimited security, huh? uh, settings, I don't really see much differences here. Oh, adult and porn's blocked automatically? Well, that sucks. Questionable, what's questionable? Humor, get rich quick. Okay, what else? Botnets, keylogger, malware sites, phishing, proxy. Huh. Okay. Threat prevention. Manage licensing. Uh, I should have these features. Oh, yeah, I do. So let's turn it on. Save. I mean,. Don't really see much in the uh, in here, but I'm gonna have to go through it and do some more screenshots for people. But 
As you can see, it was pretty easy to uh, upgrade and how quick it was. It's got an SSD drive in it. I think it's got a little MSATA drive in there. I can't remember. Let's have a look. I can't remember if it's got an MSATA drive in this or not. And since this is my unit, I can take it apart. Yeah, there's an MSATA drive in there. It's just a little guy. It's one of those little tiny, tiny ones. But as we can see, upgrade went easy. Pretty, pretty smooth, quick. Uh, I'm going to have to poke around here and see what kind of uh, settings are going to go on here. Um, I really like how simple the dashboard is. Bet you if I do fast.com. Does it go any faster? Pulls full gigabit. So let's see if it's actually pulling full gigabit. Let's see here. Because it might be going out my other inter interface. No, let's go with this. Hold on. Network connections, Ethernet. Let's turn off my 10 gig. Let me try that again. I mean, yeah. It still pulls a gigabit. Interface hasn't updated yet. It should refresh right here. Make sure this disabled. Yeah, that's disabled. I mean, it does what it's supposed to do. I haven't really played too much with mine because I've been doing other stuff. But uh, as you can see, quick update. The new 4.2 is installed and it works great. So if you have any questions or comments, let me know. I'm actually going to install this and uh, let it run for a couple days. You guys keep watching. Talk to you later.